Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am about to do your reading for September 4th through the 10th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. I've already pre-shuffled these three times with the bridge, but I just am going to go a little bit more with this. for the sign of Leo for the week of September 4th through September 10th. Love reading. Conflict. Conflict, harmony, love, excitement, peace. Looks good. There you are. So I think that you're feeling trapped in something. Something is making you feel trapped, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we're going to get right into it. Okay, so right here we have these conflicts. We have tension. Um, we have you. We hear, have you uh, feeling sad about something, okay, and feeling like you're stuck in a situation. So I'm not sure why you feel like you're stuck in a situation because we have so much positive over here. We have happiness, content. We have um, you starting something brand new, okay? Feeling very grateful for everything that you have. You know, this is a welling of emotion, of, of feeling of love and support. Um, this is the chariot, which is the sign of cancer, but it's also about um, mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat moving forward it's about actual movement okay things are happening um i think that you are replacing fear with with strength and that's great so it looks really really good this week i think that things are starting to balance out within your life and things are starting to feel very um like in harmony okay i see that there's a lot there's a a discovery that has that is happening that is very harmonious I think there's a lot of passion in your life I it looks really 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 good most of it looks really really good you do have a little bit of strife I mean feeling like a victim so this could just be you that where you have moments where you get depressed and you feel like you're a victim this week and I'm not sure why that you would feel like you're a victim but you're not a victim you know, because you go from feeling very grateful, feeling abundant and lavish, to feeling like you're an, a victim of some sort. We're going to have to get some more cards. There's definitely some inner conflicts, okay? You have these inner conflicts which affect you from time to time, but there's a lot of positive energy here, and you are moving in the right direction. So that's great. Maybe things are just a little bit chaotic. All right. I think things might be a little bit chaotic. Maybe it's just, I don't know what. But there's definitely a lot of harmony and happiness. And it's something that you deserve, that you have been waiting for, that's finally coming to fruition. You know, there's a lot of happiness. Definitely. You earned it. You feel, I don't know, like you feel like you're imprisoned in a situation that you're not really imprisoned in. It's, it's just taking up too much of your, your mental space. 
And it doesn't need to because it's like a false imprisonment. You're still worried about something. But it's diminishing. It is diminishing because there's a lot of positive stuff here. Um, there's a lot of balance. Things are starting to balance out in your life. I think that there's a, a lot of love. That's an awakening. That's awareness. As above, so below. There's a lot of love. There is. And, you know, sometimes you feel the need to go within and hide and just take the time to be alone. Maybe that's what you need this week. Maybe you need some time to recuperate. Maybe you need some time to go within and work something out. Or maybe you've already done that because this is the after tarot. And right here we have all this balance, excitement, and new passion. So maybe you've, you've already taken the time to heal and now you're ready to step outside of your shell. Into the excitement, into the new world, into the new phase of your life. You've, already, you've, you've had your time alone and you're done with that. And this is the world card. The world card comes up when it, you're about to start a new phase in your life. Something big. Okay, something long term is about to start for you. You know, where you're going to be abundant. Good luck. Good luck is on the way. Something beautiful is about to start. It really is. Here we have the Two of Swords. It's no longer pretending. Okay, here in the other deck, she's got the swords and she's pretending something. She's ignoring a situation. Here, she's handed over the swords. <clears throat> and she's like, here, take them. I don't want them anymore. So here, when you were p pretending you were in a victim, if you still are, pretending you're a victim of some of circumstance or of something, that's I think that is starting to go away. Because I see that you're starting a new phase, absolutely, with this one and this one, the wheel and the world. I think that whatever spot you are in where you were in hiding or you were alone, you know, kind of like the hermit, you know, I think that's over. I think that's over. And I think now perhaps you're about to start something where you are no longer alone. A new phase of your life. Which is beautiful. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up, it's a positive new change. Something very positive. After a time of strife. Okay? It's a breakthrough. Finally. For you which is the Leo card. I think that you, and you deserve it. You do. So whatever's making you feel like you've been a victim, you need to let go of that because it's you're moving to a much better direction. And you, this is the chariot card, if you have done this. You have mastered your emotions to get to this spot in your life. Anyway, I see good luck is in the, in, on the horizon. Good fortune, a brand new phase of your life. And I don't think you're going to be doing it alone. I think this new phase of your life <coughs> includes, it could include a commitment. It could include marriage. Um, it definitely includes harmony and peace. Excitement and passion. You do have a cancer. You have a Leo, which is you. You don't have a lot of signs here. You have a cancer. You have a Leo. You have a Gemini. You have a Leo again. Uh, 
So a lot of this is about you. It is. It's about the changes that you've made within yourself. Yeah, it is. I think that good luck is on the horizon. A new phase of your life is on the horizon. And it does involve love and happiness. We have the sun under here. It involves love and happiness and probably a commitment because we have a commitment and a, or a marriage. There's so much harmony this week in your life. That's what it's about. This is a very harmonious week. You have a little bit of mental strife, but it's just a little tiny bit. So this looks like a beautiful, wonderful week where you, you're really stepping out of your shell and you've mastered your emotions quite well. There's just This is a week of harmony. That's all there is to it. September 4th through September 10th. I think that whatever you were battling in your head, I think you're not doing that anymore. I think that you've decided to let that go. Whatever was going on up there that was making you feel like a victim, I think that you have let that go this week. Or you are letting it go. And it brings harmony when you do. Retreat, you've already been there. Deception, you've been deceiving yourself. Soulmate, absolutely. Calling in your soulmate, you've been doing that too. Right along, getting to know each other. Religious factors or traditions. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. I think you already have. I think you have done that and that's where this awakening comes in. You've taken the time to think about all this and that's where the, the tension and the conflicts, the inner conflicts come from because you've taken the time to figure this out and master your emotions. Deception is because you are only deceiving yourself. You were wearing the false mask. That's what I think. That's what I think. You were in denial about something or you couldn't accept something or you were deceiving yourself by thinking something that wasn't true soulmate yes this is your soulmate that's why why we have so much harmony and passion up here getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens i think that's what's happening i think you're stepping out of your shell this week seriously there's there's a lot of great energy here Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That's part of your awakening. You've been calling this person in. Right along. And I think it's still happening. And you know it is. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Perhaps you didn't believe that you would ever find your soulmate. Perhaps you didn't believe that you could manifest it. We have the magician right here. That you could actually call them in. If you didn't, or if you don't, now is the time to start believing. Because you can. You have the power to manifest with the man with the magician card. If you haven't called this person in already, you better get moving. Because you're only deceiving yourself by not doing it. Don't be afraid to open up. If you know who this person is, if you've already met them, don't be afraid to open up about who you are. So, I think this week is about harmony for you, Leo. I think you're at a very harmonious time in your life that you have earned. You put yourself in the driver's seat and you have mastered your emotions. Congratulations. That's what I think. 